right, you ready for the next time? Yeah. We got two more in the drop in. You know what I'm saying? This is my guy coming in the drop in. So right now, stop clapping. Right now, stop clapping. Right now. Right now. social media and you regret it? <laughs> I have that. I have a neighbor. He's like, yeah, I see you're doing that show tonight. And I was like, cool, man, you're going to come? He's like, no. <laughs> I said, so why'd you bring it up? He's like, I know how you can be good. And I was like, hit me. He's like, you and your wife need to have a baby. <laughs> I was like, is that it? He's like, no, if you had a baby, you'd be tired of being a loser, it hurts ya. <laughs> and you want to be good for the baby. And I was like, okay. And it sucks because that makes sense. <laughs> I was like, all right. He's like that, and you start doing cocaine. <laughs> He's like, your pauses are too long. You'd slim up. I hate that guy. I, <laughs> Anybody here ever live in the ghetto? So me, me and you five, uh, I still live there. I haven't got out yet. I live by the worst Dunkin' Donuts in Chicago. The worst. Can't tell you guys where it's at. We have a lot of beef with it. Yeah, so everyone's kind of trying to imagine. Can't tell you where it's at. They threatened my life three times. On social media, I'm serious, I can show you guys. They put little clown and gun emojis. <laughs> They're like, stop making videos about us. Stop talking about us at your little comedy shows. It's kind of scary. Is it on the west it, side? Yes, it is on the west side. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's real. I, dude, it is, I, I would say like out of one out of every three shows, someone's like, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> So it's a scary Dunkin' Donuts. So you know how all the Dunkin' Donuts look? This doesn't look like that. Uh, <laughs> they don't follow any of the Dunkin' Donuts rules. Uh, most of the time it's cash only. No one wears a uniform, except one guy who most of the time wears an NBA Lakers jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrifying place. I'm always scared to go there, and I still go there anywhere because I live, I live right, right by it. So this happened a month ago. Me and my wife, we're going to this thing. We know, we know it's going to be a problem, but we still go anyway. I, it's cash only, so I bring the cash. They Sometimes they don't have coins. They blame a lot of their downfalls on COVID. Uh, <laughs> it's like, oh, we don't have coins, COVID. I was like, oh, it's over, didn't you hear? <laughs> <laughs> we won. And <laughs> <laughs> so we go there every time. So it's a long other side story. My wife is uh, unpleasant. And so... <laughs> So we go there. She's not scared of anybody there. So she has an attitude all, all the time. All, she's horrible. So when we get there, I'm nervous. Even like when I, you know how like, a lot of Dunkin's are like this where you can't get out once you get in there? I always regret it like when I get in there because they, they build that concrete curb. It's horrible. So I get in there, I'm, I'm ready. We're getting close. You know how like, even it's not even just this Dunkin' Donuts, any like ghetto place you ever go, you know how they never answer the speaker? So I just go up there and I'm like, hello? And you try to look in the windows and you see workers moving around and you're like, hello? <laughs> and then you get like shy because you're embarrassed. You're like, yo. <laughs> oh. And it's just quiet. And then the girl comes over the speaker and she's like, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, can I get two iced coffees with oat milk, please? She's like, how about whole milk? I was like, you don't got oat milk? She's like, oh, we got oat milk. <laughs> I was like, well, can I have that then? And she goes, Psh. drive up. <laughs> I'm nervous. 
this. <laughs> so we're going. My wife saw a full attitude already. So we're getting, we're getting to the window. I have the exact change. I'm like ready to give it to her. She's handing me this stuff. I was just like looking at her. I don't, I don't like confrontation. I'm just trying to hand it off and get rid of it. I don't want my wife to get angry. I don't want her to get angry. I'm just trying to get this transaction done. And then she's like, you're those two iced coffees with whole milk, right? I was like, you don't remember that whole thing we did? <laughs> she's like, yeah, I know, I'm just fucking with you, boy. <laughs> ah, 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 you got me. So I'm just handing over the coffee. <laughs> my wife looks in the bag and she was like, there's no napkins in here. And I was like, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> She's like, be a man and ask for napkins. And I was like, Ugh. She's like, why are you scared of a bunch of kids? I'm like, these, are, these five 16-year-olds could beat me up. <laughs> what do you think I am? She's like, just be a man and ask for it. So I was like, all right. So I'm looking at her. She just, she can see me looking at her. And she's like, so she comes to the window. She's like, what do you want? I was like, uh, perhaps you forgot the napkins in our bag. She didn't even say anything to me. She goes to the leader in the Lakers jersey. She's like, he wants napkins. So he comes swishing up to the window real fast. He's like, what do you want? And I'm like, Again. napkins? He's like, for what? <laughs> That's the end of the story. I just, I just drove off. My wife brings it up all the time. She's like, Matt's scared of kids. And I'm like, no. No, bad kids. Is there any Latino people here? Yeah. That's a lot. Uh, do, do you speak Spanish? Or either one of you. Uh, can I get a volunteer? Do you speak Spanish? I do not. Me neither. So if you're not Latino, I'm letting you guys know there's a war going on right now <laughs> between the people who can speak English and Spanish and the people who can only speak English. The people who can speak Spanish hate us. It's crazy. I don't know why. I don't know what we did. I'm sorry. <laughs> so he could probably relate. When I was little, you try not to draw attention to the fact that you don't speak Spanish, right? So everyone knows stuff, so like other kids just come and tell me like a whole Spanish story, and I was like, oh, see. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> mm. They'll say like a little add on, I'm like, oh. <laughs> so I was a little kid, and this kid named Jose, this is a true story. This kid Jose, so all the kids on my block, for the most part that I knew, could speak Spanish. Jose, one time, I, I know a couple phrases and stuff like that, but if you really hit me with some super hardcore stuff, I don't know what you're talking about. So he told me this long story, and it ended like at the end, like like it was a question. He was like, yeah, "See?" <laughs> I was like, "No, nah, man. I don't know what you're saying." He's like, "Oh, you don't speak Spanish?" I was like, "No, not not good enough." And he was like, "You're fake. That's what they call you, right? You're fake. You're fake." And it's fake. It hurt my feelings. It was decades ago, and I still talk about it. <laughs> Deep down, it really hurt my feelings. I hate this kid. <laughs> so when we would play, he would tell all the other kids, all the girls, like he would make jokes about me in Spanish, but I would do it. He'd be like, <laughs> I know that's me. <laughs> it would like, to the point where like, I would just o be open with you guys. It would like make me like tear up sometimes. It really hurt my feelings. It scarred me. But life's crazy. That was a long time ago. I grew up. I know a lot more Spanish, and he was brutally murdered. <laughs> <laughs> now he know hablo nada. <laughs> Lo siento, <laughs> Jose's familia. Adios. <laughs> it was the mouth. I know he said something. He got shot. Uh, so. Another crazy part of that story is I had to stop saying his last name because then people find me and they're like, that's fucked up. I was like, yeah, man, you should have not talked that shit. <laughs> Bad parents. Is there any Latin kings here? <laughs> that one? Okay, I got another story for you then. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with the group, uh, uh, they, 
there's like these group of guys that live by my house and <laughs> they like to pull pranks on everybody. <laughs> We've lost a lot of good guys to their pranks. <laughs> And uh, they're like drawing on my garage and setting fires. They're crazy. And <laughs> little rascals. And it's become a problem. But uh, you guys ever heard of gentrification? Yes. Some of you guys are doing it. And <laughs> it's coming in great. I love gentrification. I know that's not a popular thing, but the, the before was worse. <laughs> Pay your mortgage, and we could like <laughs> we could get through this together. So, my whole block, uh, Jose's family's gone. <laughs> Everyone's gone. It's it's getting real nice. We have a lot more dog care things, but that's weird. But everything else, <laughs> everything else is good. But there's one whole family uh, where they're still just gang banging, and it, they're terrified. They're out there every day. It's pretty scary. They're like uh, so. Their their head guy. He's like super committed. You guys ever seen someone who stays gang banging until like their 40s? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like we live by each other. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this, yeah. It's, he's, he's had to be about 44 and he still rides a, like a BMX bike. <laughs> he has tattoos on his face, uh, picks up his girl from high school every day. <laughs> He's terrifying. I don't want anything to do with him. I got a bad back. I can't fight anymore. <laughs> I, just, I ignore him every time I see him. So there's no Latin Kings here, right? <laughs> so a big thing they like to do is called flagging cars, right? So what they'll do is they'll go in the middle of the street and they'll scream King Love at cars. They're like, King Love, King Love. It's, it's pretty scary. I live there and I still will go around the block and like I just don't want to, I don't, just don't want the altercation every time I ignore him. But the new people coming in have no idea what that means. So one day, so there's another house where there's like, it's full of hipsters. I mean, hipsters is whatever, but that's what they are. <laughs> so they're all in there just doing weird stuff, and <laughs> they have no idea what's going on outside. So one day, one of the girls that lives in that house, she's come down the block. So she's coming down the block, not a care in the world. He gets in the middle of the block, King Love, King Love. She almost hits him, but she kept driving. It was really weird. She parallel parked. He's like, King Love! And she rolled down the window, what'd you say? <laughs> and if you know like uh, Latin Kings, like, they're not, they don't like to be questioned. <laughs> He's like, King Love! And she's like, hold one minute. <laughs> so I immediately start recording this from my, <laughs> from my mind. I'm like, yes, I'm about to go viral. I did it. So I'm recording it. She took forever to parallel park. <laughs> She gets out. I've never seen someone jog towards a gangbanger. <laughs> she comes over there and she gets all up in his personal space and she's like, what are you going on about? He's like, King Love! And he starts throwing up hand gestures I can't do because Ronnie's recording. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, she's gonna die. <laughs> and she's like, King Love, what does that even mean? I've never seen anyone ask him that. He's like, that's the gang from this block. And they yell it so the other gangs know that this is our block. And in some ways, we're protecting this block. Just get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this really happened. Then she looked at him, she goes, okay, crazy. <laughs> and then she left. <laughs> this is all true. So. The crazy part is they see each other every day. He's outside. He never misses a shift of gang banging. <laughs> He's out there, King Love, King Love. And she'll see him and she'll be like, Hey, Oscar. <laughs> I've lived here for years. I didn't know that he had a name. <laughs> and he'll just like bean mug her back. He'd be like, Hey, Kelsey. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's my time.